Ephesians chapter number 6. Begin reading at verse number 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in what? High places. places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the, in the evil day, yes. and having done all to stand, stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Hallelujah. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all of the fiery darts of the wicked, darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. You know, we taught a series, Pastor, this past Sunday. We concluded a series about learning how to be disciples. Yes. So the ILM family are now disciples. The partners of ILM family are now disciples of yes. Christ. Yes. Amen? Amen. But let me tell you what's going on. Let me tell you the setup. See, when you are a disciple, you are now in the army of the Lord. That's right. Amen. And when you're in an army, you need to be protected Hallelujah. because there's going to be an enemy that you are fighting. And when you fight this enemy, the enemy is going to fight dirty with you. I mean, the enemy is going to come at all angles, from all angles, coming at you to hit any angle that he can to penetrate your armor so that he can take your life away from you. That's right. See, you're protecting a jurisdiction, a kingdom, and the enemy is protecting their kingdom. Yes. They're trying to harm you, and literally you're trying to harm them. So what you must not what you must understand as a believer now, as a disciple of Christ, hallelujah, you must understand that there's a devil coming at you yeah. and now you need to be fortified for the battle that you are now in yes see when the bible tells us in ephesians 6 to put on the whole armor of god paul because who is god talking to he's talking through paul talking to the ephesians yes about being girded up yes with truth so that when the enemy shoots his fiery dots at them they will be protected, protected. That's right? right? Amen. And so you and I must understand that as we are armored with the armor of the Lord, we are protected against the wiles of the devil. Yeah. And so the Bible is clear on what you and I need to do. That's right. Now Pastor. we need to find out about this armor. Yeah. So in the jurisdiction of Rome at that time, you have the Roman soldier. And they had Roman armor. Yes. Well, in this jur jurisdiction of this time, we are mostly in America. And some of you all are watching us from different parts of other countries. That's Amen? right. Amen. Thank you. And so look Bless at this God from the perspective you. of where you're from. But I'm ministering this message from the perspective of where we're from right now. See, we have armor here. Yes. A bulletproof vest, helmets, gas mask, right? Um every type of armor uh, that, or every type of weapon that is connected to our armor, right, Pastor? That's correct, Like Pastor. guns and tear gas and, you know, things of that nature. And we're, again, trying to fend off an enemy yeah. that's trying to take our lives. Yes. Amen? Amen. And so what we need to do is find out what the armor is for our fight. Yes. See, you are now in a fight. See, the enemy was messing with you before. 
But when you decided to become a disciple of Christ, Hallelujah. now he's coming after you even harder. Why? Because you as a disciple of Christ are going to make other disciples. That's right. When you are making other disciples of Christ, you're taking away from the devil's discipleship. Mm. And don't so. think for one minute that he's going to allow that without a fight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he's coming after you. He's coming after you to take away what's yours. Will you let him do it? Of course not. So stick with us this morning and we're going to endeavor on finding out a little bit more about this armor. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory Thank be you, to God. Pastor. So when we look at verse 10 and 11 of our scripture text, it says in verse 10 again, finally, my brethren, be strong in, in the, the Lord, Lord and in the power of his might. Hmm. Verse 11 reads, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Hmm. So when we look at verse 10, it's telling us to be strong in the Lord. Yes. In the power of his might. This is a charge that is given to all believers. Amen. amen Hallelujah. Amen, amen. When we put on the armor of God, the whole armor, excuse me, of God, we see that we are soldiers in the army of the Lord, just as Pastor Kofi said. Yes. And we are soldiers in the army of the Lord. So when he talked about the enemies, who is our enemy? The devil and his strategies. <laughs> as soldiers in the army of the Lord, we are in warfare, but understand this, we're not in human warfare, but spiritual warfare. As believers in the body of Christ, we must diligently heed to what is being said if we're going to conquer the enemies who stand so violently opposed to us as believers in Christ Jesus. My, my, my. If we don't take heed to the charge and the message of this passage, we will cave into the temptation and sin and mm. end up walking through life just as most people do. My, well, my, what my. do you mean, Pastor Shelley? I'm so glad you asked. Live mm -hmm. chat that in. Yes. So if we don't take heed to the charge of this message in this passage, we will cave into temptation mm. and sin and end up walking through life just as most people do. So that means that if we don't take charge to this, then we won't experience the abundance and the joy of life. My, my, my. If we don't take heed to this message, we won't experience the power and deliverance and care and concern and love and fellowship of God's daily presence. Mm -hmm. See, our presence with the Lord is not just a Sunday presence. Amen. Amen. It's not just a Bible study. It's not, but it is an everyday presence, mm. inviting the presence of the Lord to come in. It's mm -hmm. about creating the space on, for Pastor. you and the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell us about if this. we don't take heed to the message of this passage, we're not going to have the confidence of being acceptable mm. to God. Amen. That's true. So as believers, we must do exactly what God says in the passage in order to conquer the great enemies of life. My, my. The charge is twofold. Number one, be strong. Mm -hmm. See the word in the, in, 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 in means power. The word strong means power. Amen. Oh, Might. Yeah. Strength. Strength. Yes. You must possess this as you walk through the course of a life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have to be reminded and remember that this place here on earth, this is not our home. No, we are pilgrims not. on a journey passing through. Amen. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. So the second thing is in the in the Lord's power. Uh -huh. This means his sovereign, unlimited power uh -huh. and dominion over all. Hallelujah. Number three, in the Lord's might. might. Yes. It means strength, force, ability. It means his ability to use his strength yes. and force wisely. That is in perfection. Mama. See, the believer's strength is not human. 
fleshly strength. It is not the strength of anything within this world. Come Hallelujah. On Come on now. But the it. believer's strength is found in the Lord. Mm. It's found in living. It's found in dynamic mm. relationship. relationship with him. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord is the source of your strength. Uh -huh. See, there is no other source that can give you and I the strength to overcome this world with its trial, now, with its tribulations, with on. disappointments, with temptations, yes. and death. Mm. It is the Lord God Almighty, all powerful, everlasting, King of kings, Lord of lords, the Lion of Judah, Judah, El Shaddai, all sovereign, on, almighty, intentional on. God. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on and praise God Hallelujah. with me. Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name together. together. Amen. Yes. For he is a worthy to, to be, be praised. praised. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank him Hallelujah. for being the source of your strength. Yes. See, we can't even discuss putting on the whole armor of God uh -huh. until we get this understanding of verse 10. My God. Now, I'm going to sound My redundant God. this morning. Amen. Mm. I'm going to read verse 10 again. Please. Because I really want the word of God to take root in our hearts. Let it penetrate. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power, power of his, his might. might. Amen. When you look at verse 11, it tells us to what? To put on the whole armor of God. Yes. You. Yeah. I'm talking to you. You, you as the believer. Mm -hmm. You as an ambassador for Christ. Mama. You as one of God's disciples. Once you are strong within, then now you're ready to be clothed with the armor of God. Come on now. No amount of armor is worth the material it is made of. I need you all to take close attention to this. Amen. It is made unless the soldier has the heart to fight. Oh, my. Now, I'm going to say that again because oh somebody needs to hear that. Oh, my. I come to encourage you this morning. Oh we my. come I to encourage yes. you this morning. Yes. No amount of armor mm. is worth the material it is made of unless the soldier... I'm going to make it personal. No amount of armor mm. is worth the material it is made of unless you, the soldier, has the heart to fight. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Do you have the heart to fight? It's a question. Come on and live chat, uh -huh. live chat your answer back. Uh -huh. Respond with me. Come Amen. Correspond. Communicate Come on. Do with you us. Have the Amen. Heart to fight? That's right, Hallelujah. Pastor. Sometimes, Ask them again. all the time, do you have the heart to fight? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, the beauty is as the song writer wrote it's a fixed fight and mm. we already won so do you have the heart to fight mm -hmm. if you are a firefighter mm -hmm. or in the academy to become one my, my. you better have a heart because when you put the firefighters uniform mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. heavy equipment you have been prepared to put out fires that can last for days, Come on, man. depending on where you are and what kind of fire it is uh -huh. see it's called preparation yes, that's pastor. why to put on this armor of the Lord as a soldier, you have to be strong in Come the on. Lord. Amen. You be strong. In his power and in his might. Uh -huh. See, when you put on the whole armor of God, you begin to wage war against the foes of a right. life. Yeah. But you are prepared. Why? Because you have the presence mm. and the power of God within your heart. Amen. Come on now. Let's go just a little bit deeper. Come Amen. On, let's go deeper. You've accepted his son, Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. Let's go just a little bit deeper. Uh -huh. Let's get in the deep waters of it. Come on. Now, now you have what? The Holy Spirit. Uh -huh, Amen. Uh -huh. Why? Because you have the presence and the power of God that is Hallelujah. within your heart. The word says, greater is he that is in you My than God. he that is in the world. Now mm. you begin to arm yourself to wage war against the spiritual enemies of life, Come against on. the devil, against his ministers yes. that appeared as a marvel of life, but really are devils. Amen. My God. In disguise, pretending to be disciples. Come on, you Amen. Girl. Whoever and Woo. whatever it may be, Amen. It's called spiritual warfare. Right. Don't leave any yes. pieces Hallelujah. of armor off. Hallelujah. It says put on the whole arm of God. That's what the word says. My God. See, if you leave pieces of the arm mm. of God off, mm -mm. and if it be God's will, we're going to come back next Sunday and go over the pieces of armor. Mm -hmm. If you leave any of those off, 
you expose yourself to the enemy my, my. and you stand a good chance of being wounded, perhaps killed. But let me say this, not only being in any type of military, law enforcement, firefighters, anything that requires us to put on a, diff a uniform different than our everyday clothes, we can talk about the doctors, how they mm, have to suit up yes. when they go in to prepare for surgery, yes, amen? Uh -huh. That if we are not properly dressed, if we don't have all of the, the tools that we need mm. to go into battle, amen? Yes, amen if amen. we're not seriously wounded or injured or perhaps killed, we My could cause God. one of our partners, My Lord. one of our co-workers, one of the people that we're in the battlefield mm, with mm, mm. to become seriously injured or hurt because we came pre pre we came prepared but the other person to my right or to my left or my in front God. of me is not e properly prepared to effectively do the work mm. Let's put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Lord, Hallelujah. Lord, Come on Lord. and give God Hallelujah. a hand clap Hallelujah. of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So the charge is to be strong in the Lord. Uh-huh. In the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of oh, God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord Hallelujah God. Thank you, thank for you, thank your you. Word. Thank Hallelujah you, Jesus. for equipping us this yes. morning for giving you what was necessary for you to get in a battle and fight yeah amen but we learned today that we must have the heart yeah come on pastor to fight because see if you don't have the heart then you don't really have the armor amen you see you might have a bre a bless a breastplate on or a helmet but if you don't have a heart to get out on the field to fight the battle then that enemy can just come up to you with your armor on and destroy you. It's the heart. It's the decision to follow Christ. That's right. That gets you in this battle as a victor, yeah. not a victim. Hallelujah. Amen. Goes right there. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible says be strong. Be strong. See, it doesn't say mm. become strong. That's right. It doesn't say I'm becoming strong that's right it says what be, be strong. strong that's right in the who lord's lord. power and the power of whose might the lord his might that's right see you don't have to be incredible hawk mm. you don't have to be impenetrable you just have to be within you have to be in the confines of you have to be saturated with the love right. of the one who's impenetrable, which is Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you have you to be found God. in him. And this is your strength. Yeah, thank Amen. You, Jesus. Your strength is in your heart to believe. Hallelujah. Your heart to fight. Hallelujah. Your heart to suit up in this armor known as the armor of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah goes Hallelujah. right there. Thank you, Almighty God. Hallelujah goes right there. Listen. Thank you, Jesus. We're equipping each other. Mm, we have you. an enemy. He wants you dead. Thank you, Lord. He doesn't want you sick. He doesn't want you deprived. Thank you, Only Lord. he wants you dead. He wants your neighbor dead. He wants your family dead. Thank he you, wants Jesus. your whole household dead. And you and I have to put on the full armor of God. Yes, Pastor. Amen. So that we can quench off or fight off the fiery darts of the wicked, no, known as the devil. He's coming for you. That's right. Now you got to come back for him. And the way that you come for him is knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. Fixing yourself to be stable, rooted, and grounded yeah. in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's the heart that you need to fight this fight. And then you have the whole armor of God you, put on you. So that when the enemy Thank comes you. at your finances, you'll be able to ward him off. When Thank he comes you. at you with sickness, you'll be able to ward that off. Yes. When he comes at you with poverty of mind and spirit, mm, you can Lord. ward him off. There's no depression Thank in you. Lord. There's no need for you to be depressed. Thank you, There's Lord. no need for you to, to succumb to your circumstances. You have on the whole armor of God yes. this morning. Yes. Amen. So let's put on a whole armor of God. Hallelujah. And first, Hallelujah. people of God, you cannot have armor unless you're a part of the team. Mm. You cannot have the armor of this particular uh, 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 soldier's group, you, this army, 
unless you know the Lord Jesus Christ. So this morning, if you don't know the Lord okay. Jesus Christ, or if you thought you knew the Lord Jesus Christ, but you found out through this message that you're not fighting with a full armor, that you're fighting with pierced armor, mm. that you're fighting mm. with faulty armor, then you need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal yeah. Lord and Savior. You need to say, Lord, I want you to come into my life and Thank save you, me. And I want you to make me a soldier Thank within you, your Jesus. army. You, I want to be fully prepared, fully uh, clothed in the armor of God. And so I accept you this morning yes, as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Save me, O God. Thank and you, he man. will. And now, people of God, you are now in the army of God. Hallelujah. You are disciples Hallelujah. of God, Hallelujah. and you are now being clothed with the armor Hallelujah. of God. Amen. Amen. So come Hallelujah. back next week. We're going to find out what those pieces of armor mean and how it relates to you. Amen. Amen. What was God talking? Who was God talking to? He was talking to the people of that time known as the Ephesians. Who is God talking to this morning? You. What is he talking about? Being fully clothed in the armor of God. That's right. And come back next week and we're going to find out how it relates to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our time Hallelujah. is up. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you for yours. Pastor, any remarks before yeah, we go? Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Kofi. I just want to encourage each one of you as you are listening or perhaps watching or doing both, create the space to come into the presence of the Lord mm. daily. Create the space mm. to come into the presence of the Lord daily. daily. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Oh, you got it. See, we showing our love. Amen. ILM loves, loves you. you. But more importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you. Peace. We'll see you tomorrow. Blessings. Right. Marriage Monday, tomorrow. 7 p.m. That's right. Come on, couples.